17. Woo! It's the team tournament. I'm Christian Arlock. I am Mark Else. You know, Christian, Tender Green doesn't cater for just any event. Not even this one. You knew it was going to be special. I brought this from home. What a matchup we have to kick off the movie trivia schmodown team league ultimate schmodown playoff format competition. I mean, you have Cinema Blend. Yeah. What they do is they put movies into a Vitamix, and then you have Team Trek, and they sleep with phasers under their pillow. They do indeed. And I'll tell you, the thing that is so special about this tournament, back in 2014. Way back in the dark ages. When you and I came up with this thing at a pizza place in Anaheim. We, the wheel had not been invented. It had not. And we came up with this tournament, and the singles league was 16 players. And, and we got our first champion in Mark Riley. And then in 2015, we had the team tournament. You and I ultimately won. You're damn right we did. That tournament. But this year was only supposed to be eight teams. And then what happened? And then what happened is that we have so many teams this year, so many great competitors that I said, I can't just do eight. We've got to yep. look at this. How are we going to make it work? And here we have it. 16 teams all going for those stinking Patriots who just defended the belts against Team Modoc. And here we go now. It is the first matchup of the tournament, and you've got Cinema Blend, like you mentioned, Eric and Connor. Mm -hmm. These guys, their first match when they came out here against DC Movie News, it was very close, and they became fan favorites quick because the fans were on their side. They saw maybe a couple calls didn't go their way, but they the way that they handled themselves, the fans really they got by him. So this could be a team. There's one guy, the guy who writes the Schmodown blog. Yeah. He has them going the whole entire way to, to the finals. That's right. So you have Eric and Connor versus Scott and Jason. They sound like the kids in Stand By Me. I don't think those are their actual names. But when you get Team Trek on the board, you don't know what the wheel is going to provide for them because they're a very round two heavy team where if they get the right one, if they pull movie release dates out of the hat, oh, they could run the entire table. But if they get something that's on their wheelhouse, it could be an easy victory for Cinema Blend. Well, listen, I mentioned I mentioned controversy when it came to Cinema Blend. Trek is no stranger to controversy. They are arguably the only team that could have beaten the Patriots. You look at that sudden death match. That's before we changed the buzzers. Um, the, that's before we had the challenge rule with the Eva situation mm -hmm. that Jason Inman could have challenged. He might have won it. Eva, Eve, what the hell's the difference? Who knows? It could have been a challenge. And maybe, maybe Trek could have been our champions right Yeah, now. but they're not. But they're not. Because no. right after that match, they lost to the former team heroes, which was Schnepp and Burnett. Um, and they've been on this downward spiral. We haven't seen them since. Mance had a singles match against Bibiani. Unfortunately, just lost that. But they are, they are strong competitors, and they could always win. Just depends on the category. That's right. Not since Launchpad McQuack have we seen such a tailspin. However, I think we're due for a turnaround today. Will Team Trek get the right category in round two? Well, let's hear from both of all of our competitors right now. We are finally back in the ultimate Schmildown Hailing teams. frequencies open. Live long and prosper now. Now, Jason, number yeah. one, I don't Captain. know if you know this, but the last time I was in an ultimate Schmildown, ooh, it didn't go so well. It didn't <laughs> go so well because, not because I didn't know my stuff, but because no. I couldn't do math. I couldn't do math. That, that, yeah. that. What is this, the ultimate schmo calculus? No. We're here. We're ready. We're going to compete. We're going to kill it. It's pretty much what everyone expects. And uh, we had a, I think, very strong opening, our first Smowdown match. And uh, I don't know, I think we got a little bit maybe robbed a touch on that last question to our own potential fault. But uh, we're here. No, 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 no fault of our no own. No fault maybe of our own. <laughs> That should have been ours. We are here for victory today, yeah. though. That is what it's all about. Today, we're playing Cinema Blend, which is, wait, who is Cinema Blend? Er, somebody named Eric and Connor? Connor? I, mean, I don't you know. know. You know who I'm they are? They're red shirts. I'm sure they're they're nice guys. But you know what they say yeah. about nice guys. They finish what are they last. I've been watching the tapes. Uh, I know that uh, Scott Mance, for example, is very good with those movie release dates. So I think it's fair to say that we will be staying as far away from that as possible. Uh, that being said, we also know that, that they didn't have what it take to beat up the Patriots. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, we'll be the ones to bring them to a 500 record. A lot of people want to count us out. We had three straight victories, then we had two losses. But if you look at our losses, we lost the championship by one point and a technicality. Yeah, we lost right. the second one because Schnepp and Burnett luckily hit comic book movies yeah, on the listen, wheel. Listen. They're not even a team anymore. Number one, if the judges knew their shit, we would be doing much, that much is better than we damn are in the standing. Right. But nothing against the judges. We love the judges. These are the top competitors. Obviously, we're facing in Jason and Minns, Scott Mance, some street super smart dudes. But, uh, you know, I think we might be just a little bit smarter. We're from Cinema Blend. We know cinema. Those guys are Trek. If Trek questions come up, I'm sure it'll be good. But we're Cinema a Blend. A full blend of cinema. Star Trek is about something. We are about something. Mm -hmm. You know what we are about, number one? We know. are about victory. Ooh. Victory. Live long and prosper. That's a V for victory, baby.
not a lot of smack talk here between the four of these guys, but they're all very determined. I mean, the, yep. the look and I was when I walked Cinema Blend here before, I was telling them the rules and showing them everything. The look in their eyes, they want this thing. Did it, didn't it remind you of the team from Hoosiers? Like, they're measuring everything. They want to make sure that it's 10 feet here like it is back home. I mean, they, they want to make sure that this is a fair contest. Absolutely. Team Trek, they are veterans of the tournament, but for better or for worse, they know how to compete. They know how to compete, and I think that Cinema Blend just really happy to be here. Trek is looking for revenge. They want the Patriots. They yeah. want that shot of taking the Patriots out. The bump in the road that was heroes. They're looking to get past it, and we're ready to go. I am ready to go. I'm going to have a bite of chicken while you uh, wear your throat out. Well, not yet, because it's the tail of the tape. Mm, there is there the, That's fine. Tail of the tape. There is Team Trek. Obviously, movie release dates, comic book, movies, and yelling and keeping each other under control. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> Jason keeping Mance under control. Yeah, that's accurate. All right, and then you got Cinema Blend. Comic book movies, a strength. You have new releases, a strength. And learning that Mance is loud. All right. Um, all right, so there we go. That's everything right there as far yep. as the tail of the tape. Are you ready to get going? Do I look ready? Let's do this. That's disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the ultimate schmodown. <laughs> and the team division. Introducing first. With a record of zero wins, one defeat, they are the ranked number 12 contenders, Eric and Connor, Team Cinema Blend! Here comes Cinema Blend. Easy, yeah, give it Reading up to the crowd. The crowd seems to favor them. Give us some kisses. I, no, like I mean, I like when they blow the Emperor's kisses. Yeah, well, it's better than blowing the I like getting thin grapes. Or you do. Not my intention. Uh, <laughs> here, here we go. And their opponents, with a record of three wins, two defeats, give it up for the Mance Man, Scott Mance, Jason Justice Inman, Team Trey! Back in the ring. Look at the poses. These are this, yeah. is, a, this is a very well rehearsed, well worn routine, but it never gets old to me. They are very excited to represent their favorite brand, intergalactically known as Team Trek. That siren you hear is just a nerd alert. Yeah, these guys were both at the Star Trek convention and they loved it. They absolutely <laughs> loved it. They absolutely loved it. All right, so now here we go, guys. It is the ultimate showdown, on the first match. 16 matches. Let me show you the bracket right there. The winner of this match will play the winner of Team Action versus Deep Cuts. And we are in our first match. Scott Mance, he is no stranger to this tournament. Remember that Machinima ETC back in the day with his former teammate Alicia Malone. He's That's looking right. to redeem himself here. Scott so. Mance, no stranger to people in general. I don't think there's a human being on planet <laughs> Earth that has not met and have a five minute conversation with Scott Mance. Will Cinema Blend enjoy their interaction with Team Trek? We're about to find out. Mark, how does round <laughs> number one work? Round number one works thusly. We are going to ask the field eight questions. Once you guys hear the question, please write down the answer on your whiteboard when we ask you to reveal your answers, please show it when prompted to the camera and verbalize it at the same time. These eight questions come from eight different movie categories. Keep in mind there's no stealing. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. Man, so hungry. All right, here we go here. Round number one in the category of comedies. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Who plays rising journalist and new E correspondent Allison Scott in the hit comedy Knocked Up? E, I like how you hit the exclamation point. And I said, point. knocked up. E. You like that? Yeah, that was more of a question. Like, knocked up? I went, no, it wasn't. It was knocked yeah. up. No, it, were they knocked up? Forget about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Mance Man. Catherine Heigl. That is correct. Eric. Catherine Heigl. That's correct. Jason. Seth Rogen's lady. That's incorrect. <laughs> and Connor. <laughs> Catherine Heigl. Oh, nice. and Cinema Blend here taking a two to one. First blood. Yeah, first blood there. Mark, what's the question two? <laughs> your category is dramas, and your question is thus. What movie features a police officer named Jim Curring, a former child game show star named Donnie Smith, and a controversial motivational speaker named TJ Mackey? I had a friend named Mackey back in Did you really? You no. seem like a guy I that's didn't your know. friends with Pintos. Yeah. I bet you got a friend named Fish. You don't let me finish my line. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what did your fake Mackie friend do? Well, we already know he's false. Five, <laughs> the shield. Four, three, two, one. Eric? It's uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia. That is correct. Jason? 
Magnolia. Correct. Please respect the mic, Connor. <laughs> Magnolia. Correct. And Scott. Released December 27th, 1999. Uh, That's yeah, Magnolia, yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Scott Captain's Mans. Love. This is the dangerous Scott Mans here. He's perfect so far. Here we go. All right. Next category in a category of family films. What NBA superstar played the genie Kazam in Kazam? You sold Kazam very yeah. well right there. I appreciate that. Yeah. I've been working on that for a while. Why months. wasn't the movie Kazam coming with an exclamation point at the end? Like, That's Kazam! True. Five, four, three, two, one. Jason Inman. Shaquille O'Neal. That's correct. Connor. Shaq. That's correct. Scott Mance. Shaq. You don't know the release date on that one. And uh, Eric. Shaquille O'Neal, not Sinbad. There you go. All right. So Connor, Eric, and Scott have not missed yet. So let's see what we have question number four here. All right. Shaq, former NBA champion, now does commercials for the general. Your next category is action adventure. In Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Stephen Fry plays Mycroft. How is Mycroft related to Holmes? Mycroft sounds like a bad Super Nintendo game that never got off the shelf. Yeah, like a, a follow-up to Star Fox. Right. If you like Star Fox, you'll love Mike. Get ready for Slippy's Adventure in Mike. Five, four, three, two, one. Connor? Brother? Correct. Scott? Brothers. Got it. And Brother. Got it. And Brother. Got it. All oh, right, so brother. There you go. Eight, I just seven. remember the line saying, I'm the other Holmes. <laughs> right. yeah. Other could be so That's many. all. Yeah, That's all you need. If you read yeah. the books. <laughs> category category of animated. Animated. Who provided the voice for the fast-talking meerkat Timon in The Lion King. Do you describe me as either fast talking or a meerkat? Uh, both. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this cast today. Oh, it is casting today. You should have gotten That's it. That's my meerkat. Four. That's disgusting. Three, two, one. Scott Mance. Nathan Lane. Correct. Eric. Nathan Lane. Correct. Jason. Nathan Lane. Correct. And Connor. The always fabulous Nathan Lane. Wow. There you go. All right. There you go. All right. Doing well. Next one. Your next question for a still perfect cinema blend and an almost perfect team trek. 80s movies is your category. Comedy legend Madeline Kahn plays which character in 1985's Clue? John Roca got some hot water with Vivi in that movie Clue. Well, that's you something we don't, that? we're not allowed to talk about. Oh, I, I, well, we'll Five, edit that out. Four. I'll do my meerkat. Three, two, one. Eric? Ms. Violet? It's incorrect. Jason? The maid? Incorrect. <laughs> Connor? Miss Peacock? Incorrect. And Scott? Live long and prosper. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? <laughs> Mrs. White. Mrs. White. Mrs. Flame. White. Flame. Did she play? On the right. side of my head. Mrs. Jeez. White. Okay. Mrs. All right. Flame. Flame. All right. Well, Scott Mance is going to have his time to shine here in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Nerd alert. What was the only year in which both a Star Trek film and a Star Wars film were released? Ooh. You don't look at your partner there. A lot of movies in both of those franchises. Which one do you like better, Star Trek or Star Wars? I like the one with Star in it. Five. It's a cop out answer. Four. It is indeed. We have fans all over the place. Three, two, one. Pens down. And Jason Inman. Uh, 83, but it's wrong. That is incorrect. Uh, Connor. I put 1981. Incorrect. Yeah. Scott Mance. 2002. Correct. Yep. And oh, Eric? 82. 82. Yep. Mance did get it. Proof. Right, release date. Star Trek <laughs> Nemesis and As soon Star as I wrote it down. Oh, wow. Well done. Captain. Yes, sir. Because yeah. everyone remembers that We're movie. Back. <laughs> there you right. go. Last memorable. rating. Tie game here. Last question. Last question. The last question in round one comes from the category of famous directors. These are directors that have received some sort of acclaim. <laughs> what acclaimed director? has made cameos in Gremlins, The Blues Brothers, and Vanilla Sky. What acclaimed director has made cameo appearances? This is a Gremlins, good question. The Blues Brothers, and Vanilla Sky. I like that Vanilla Sky. Not a lot of people do. Five. I don't remember it. Well, I remember like attempting four. it. We're high. Three, two, one. Connor. Hi, Mom. That is incorrect. <laughs> Scott Mance. Steven Spielberg. Correct. Damn. Oh, Eric. Cameron Crowe. No, no. And Steven Spielberg. Wow. Yes! That's, that's big. big. That's, that's big. That's really a, That is a <laughs> big <laughs> hit there. <laughs> what, a, what a first round there. Not for what one. a first round Make between Trek itself. and Cinema Blend there because it looked Cinema Blend had a nice little lead. Mance played very strong in there. Yeah. Inman had a nice little comeback. comeback. That was a great first round. That's right. Cinema Blend taking too much time to say hi to their moms. Not enough time focusing <laughs> no on the last question. All right. 
So round number two, it is the dreaded wheel round. Mark, how does this work? Said wheel is provided by Copster No Glare Christian Rubalcaba, and <laughs> it has Copster! ten different Copster! movie categories, as well as opponents and spinner's choice, which will be on the wheel for all of the matches in the Ultimate Team Schmodown. You guys will spin the wheel. Each team gets one spin. If you don't like the category you spin, you are awarded one mulligan. Whatever category that lands on, you must answer six questions from said movie genre. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us up here at the desk for multiple choice options, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, teams, there is stealing available in round two. However, there is no penalty for missing a question. All right, Trek, you guys are up by two here. Do you want to go first or second? Let's go first. All right. I say you spin the wheel since I screwed us that one time. Oh, <laughs> Scott Mance <laughs> leaving his perch to spin the wheel. The captain is up. This is like Danny Zuko stepping spin. in for Kinnicky. Good spin. Good spin. That's a good spin. Okay, that is a that's solid right. Nice spin. and gentle. Okay, nice that's and gentle. Yeah. That's like a solid it. spin. It's gone around. Stay away from your own come face. On, come on, oh, come on, come no, on, no, come no, on, no, come no, on. No, 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 you know, oh interesting. Jason Inman not quite as enthused about Tom Cruise as Scott Mance is. Tom Let's Cruise. see how that chemistry pays off. Scott Mance has interviewed Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. I'm fine with Tom Cruise. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. So six questions here in the world of Tom Cruise. Movie we just covered here. Who directed Vanilla Sky? Movies all over the Camera Crow. All right, two yeah, points it. there for Trek. All I right. put that in your head. That's on yep. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Your fault. Yeah. Here, here oh, we man. go. Here we go. Next, cat next question. What is Tom's character's last name in Cocktail? Multiple choice. Is it A, Donnelly, B, McDeer, C, Flanagan, D, Mitchell? Flanagan. Correct for one point. Young Flanagan. For one point. Young Flanagan. Yeah. Right. This man <laughs> loves Tom Cruise. Right. I don't know that. <laughs> Jason <laughs> Inman kind of looking like a uh, risky he business does. era. Got it. <laughs> question, yeah. question, question three. <laughs> question three. Looks like University of Illinois. <laughs> From which prestigious law school did Mitch McDeer graduate in the firm? Uh, multiple choice. A, Harvard, B, Vanderbilt, C, William & Mary, or D, Yale? Harvard. That's correct for one point. Scott Mance here is, is, is on just, a roll. I'm probably going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even conferring at this point. William right, & Mary, here. good university. All right. <laughs> Question four. Who played the young stepmother of Tom Cruise's character, Frank T.J. Mackey, in Magnolia? Oh, Julia Moore. There's yep. two mm -hmm. points there. Yep. All right. So Got Mance <laughs> building a lead for his team. All right. So, number five. Who directed Tom Cruise in one of his earliest roles in the film, The Outsiders? Oh, uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Two points there. Woo! Scott Mance is on a roll Running here. Running through this category. And your <laughs> final question. Final question. Yeah. No, no. Number one. Okay, okay. All You're right. the con. All right. Here you go. Who played Tom Cruise's wife in the film, The Firm? Oh, Gene Triplehorn. Two more points for <laughs> Scott Mance. Well, wow. <laughs> Done. Wow. That, Scott, that's the best man. That is the best round Scott Mance has ever had in the Ever had. That was impressive. Ever, ever had. had. It ever. easily <laughs> encompassed 25, 30 years of Tom Cruise's career. Scott Mance did not miss a beat. Now, Cinema Blend has to have. Cinema Blend is not out of this thing by, by a long shot. If they get something that they, that they are good at, they're right back in this thing. They're looking for comedy. I just got to say, that was That's a right. really tough round for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Eric, go ahead and give it a big spin, please. They are looking for, they are, they are looking for comic book movies. They are looking for they comic book movies. On the hunt. They might get 90s. 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 Are you going to spin again or are you going to keep it? Yeah, spin again. Spin again. This they is were not alive here. in the 90s. So this is it. Yeah. They want to. They obviously want to avoid movie release dates, and here they want to hit comic, book, comic movies. book movies if they can hit it. It can't get can around. It. it might be Oscar, Oscar time. Oscar movies. Okay. Oscar movies. All right. Do what we can do. Oscar movies. Also here strength. we go. Of Scott Mance. All right. Team Cinema Blend, you have spun Oscar movies with your second spin, and your first question is, who is the only performer to be nominated for an Oscar in 1970's Little Big Man? Multiple choice. Is it A, Martin Balsam, B, Chief Dan George, C, Faye Dunaway, or D, Dustin Hoffman? B? Give him a point. One there point. Give him a point. <laughs> point. They're trying to avoid the knockout here. If they can just get a couple more points, they can do it. Here we go. Your second question is, who won an Oscar 
for portraying an Oscar-winning actress in 2004's The Aviator. Kate Blanchett? Give him two points, points, Christian. There you go. They're fighting. They're, they're fighting. not scared. Her. Nope, they're okay. fighting. All right. Next question. Two more points. What was the first Disney movie to win an Oscar for best original song? Five, four. Multiple choice. Is it A, Pinocchio, B, Dumbo, C, Bambi, or D, Snow White? Pinocchio? One more, more point. point. Oh <laughs> nice <laughs> guess, Aaron. Yeah, all right, yeah, just give it a go. Yeah, all right. How did Hi Ho not win for Snow White? I will never win. <laughs> it was written by multiple people. <laughs> ha. 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 Uh, I like what you did there. <laughs> the crowd's not enthused, but I am up here at the desk. Your next question in the world of Oscar movies. Other than, as long as we got each other, but fine. Other than Chaplin, what is the only other film for which Robert Downey Jr. has been nominated for an Academy Award? Tropic Thunder. Two, Two points. points. Yeah. I was thinking that. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking Golden Globe. Nice or is that an Oscar? They, that was an Oscar. they got a shot here to, not to catch afraid. up. No, not at all. <laughs> Your next more. question. For which film did Jimmy Stewart receive his only Best Actor win at the Academy Awards? Multiple choice. Is it A, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? B, The Philadelphia Story? C, It's a Wonderful Life? Or D, Harvey? Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? That is incorrect. <laughs> Team Trek. Uh, what were the choices again? I'm sorry. Is it A, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? B, The Philadelphia Story? C, It's a Wonderful Life? Or D, Harvey? Five. Is it Philadelphia Story? That's correct. One point there. Yeah, I should second guess myself. Damn. Here we go. Your last question. Category Oscar movies. Cinema Blend. What actress won an Oscar for her role as Mona Lisa in My Cousin Vinny? Marissa Tomei. For two points. Peter Parker <laughs> That one I there got. Go. All right. So only Love that movie. the damage is, was done, but it's only five points. Cinema Blend, we've seen Stranger Things happen I in mean, round look, three. a five-point lead is nothing to sneeze at, but the way that Cinema Blend came back and fought through a very tough team yeah. trek yeah. in round two, I, I give them some, uh, some brownie points. So one of these teams will be playing either team action or deep cuts. Just a matter of what happens here in round number three. Who's it going to be? a big one. All right, so round number three, Mark, how does it work? In round number three, each team is going to give us here at our answer desk three numbers that range from one to 20. Those numbers correspond to a movie category up here. The first question is worth two points. The second question is worth three points. The final question is worth five points. You guys can confer on the five-point question. However, once you hear the categories for the two-pointer and the three-pointer, you must choose which teammate is going to answer. Each teammate has to answer at least one question. All right, so Trek, you guys have a five-point lead. Please pick three numbers from one to 20. Okay, in honor of Star Trek II, oh The boy. Wrath of Khan, oh boy. we're going to go with number two. And in honor of Star Trek IV, we're going to go for number four. In honor <laughs> of Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, released on December 6, 1991. Six. Number six. Is, uh, is that what you guys were conferring about? Yes, it was. Uh, yes, that it was. Just the best way to do it. Yes. Okay. Unbelievable. All right. Nope. Just do it. Give me Cine a blend of numbers. Guys. All right. So Cineblend, who has obviously gone heel after this exchange. Uh, what, 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 what are your three numbers? Uh, five, eleven, and seventeen. Five. Based on 11. what? And nothing. Nothing. Just, just a blend of numbers. Oh, the world is chaos. No, no thought. <laughs> it's all, all right. a blend. Cinema Blend putting no thought into the numbers. So here we <laughs> go. I got nothing. So here we go, That's guys. Good. So round number three, and we're going to start with Cinema Blend, who's trying to avoid the TKO here with category number five as their first category. You guys took dramas. Dramas. Who would like to answer the two-point question in dramas? I'll go for it. Okay. Here we go. All right. Susan Sarandon plays a lawyer going up against Tommy Lee Jones in what movie based on a John Grisham novel? Five, four. Is there are multiple choice for this one. Three, two, one. Got nothing. All right, give us the, the client. The 
client. Good movie. He didn't use the JT. Brad Renfro. Was it 93? Uh, don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. Not, not part of the quest. All right. Damn. Here we go. So now it's, it goes to Eric. And Eric, you guys chose number 11 for your second one. You have a three-pointer here in category of 80s. 80s. All right. Which Star Trek alumni played Lunar Base Commander Buck Murdoch in Airplane 2, the sequel? Scott Mance is not holding it the other way. Five, four. Can I get the question again? Yep, that's one of them. What Star Trek alum played Lunar Base Commander Buck Murdoch in Airplane 2, the sequel? William Shatner? For three oh, points. Oh, still alive. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Last second there. Yes. Yes. Still alive. Oh, oh, they're, oh, still, oh, they're still alive, but now, now <laughs> they were still alive. No, I honestly remember that the last second. I'll give you a blast. I'll give you a blast. They still would have had a chance to tie it, but now they have a chance to take a lead, mm -hmm. and but but they will still lose. <laughs> if they do not hit their five-pointer, yeah, Trek will go on to play the winner of action or deep cuts. If they hit it, it goes back to Trek. All right, here we go, guys. So you guys chose category 17 for your five-pointer. You chose war movies. War movies. All right. Who played Private JT, a.k.a. Joker Davis, in the movie? Full Metal Jacket. Matthew Modine. For five well, points. Well, we're tied. Uh, there you go. We are so, tied. No, we're not. 26, 23. We are not tied at all. <laughs> 26. Don't do that to me. Trek has to work. <laughs> Trek has to Trek work has now. Trek has to work. Trek mm -hmm. has to work in order. So Cinema Blend has now taken the lead. Trek has well an opportunity here. Yeah. Well so here we go. Here we go. Uh, Team Trek, uh, you guys chose your numbers based on Star Wars movies. Is that correct? Star <laughs> you watch Trek, it. Mister, don't cross watch the streams. It. You chose Star Trek II in honor of Khan and his wrath, and so that corresponds to 1970s movies up here at the desk. And your two-point question, who's going to be answering it? Wow. Scott Mance. Mance with so a little more experience than uh, Jason Inman in life, wow. and he's going to take I the 1970s. I was not alive in the 70s, so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Great. Great. Right. Thanks a lot. All right, so here so we cool. go. Scott Mance, your question. Yes. For two points. Yes. Who played legendary comedian Lenny Bruce in Bob Fosse's 1974 film, Lenny? That would be Dustin Hoffman. For two he gets points. two points. All right, so now Jason Inman is going to have his three-pointer and a chance to win the game for Trek. If Inman hits the three-pointer, Trek will be playing either team action or deep cuts. If he misses, Trek will have a chance to hit their five-pointer to win the game. All right. Jason Inman, your <laughs> three-point category comes from the world of classics. All right. These are movies that have transcended time and space yeah. and have become classic films. And your question for three points is, name the actor who played a prisoner who tried to break literal chains in The Defiant Ones and a doctor who broke societal chains in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. I... Five. Four. I'm just going to say Sidney Poitier. And your winner! Eliminated from the tournament, but in a fight. Redeemed. What a game. What a game. Cinema Redemed. Blend. Redemption. Blend. You're going to be able to this talk to Star Jen. Trek You're going to be able to Star talk to Trek Jen. Redemption. Hold on. Thank hold you. on. There you go. <laughs> Cinema Blend putting up a hell of a fight again. Cinema Blend is just that team that keeps on fighting. They just can't get it in that last one because Eric had a strong, that three pointer, and then the right, five pointer. Right. It just, it, it was a little bit hard that, that they had that lead build up. Cinema Blend came to play, but Team Trek coming through in the clutch. Yeah. And it's nice to see Jason Inman, who missed the very first question of this match and then getting the Sydney Poitier. And that was not building suspense for the sake of suspense. No, no, no. He legitimately he was know? thinking and thinking and thinking, and he landed on the correct answer. Well, guess who's coming to dinner? It's Trek for either action yeah. and you like that, <laughs> either action or well done. deep cuts. We're going to find out. But look, before any of that happens, we're going to talk to Jen Sturger. Well, we're not. They are. Well, well you're going to talk because you're going to hear and listen to Jen Sturger, who is going to be talking to both the winners, Team Trek, and today's unfortunate losers, Cinema Blend. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger here with Team Trek. That was an amazing performance. Scott Mance, welcome back. That was an amazing homecoming. 
Greyhawk coming. I couldn't have done it without my teammates. Oh, I couldn't have done it without my, my captain. My number one, Jason ah. Inman. We are Team Trek, and we are going to be unstoppable from this point on. It's funny. Before we spun that wheel, we actually were like, you know, if we hit Tom Cruise, we'll stay on it. Yes. And yeah. look at it. And we got yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise, and I'm like, I love Tom Cruise. I think he's a great actor. He makes great movies. He makes very, very successful popular movies. Movies that we can watch over and over again. Except The Mummy. Except, the, yeah, 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 you know, well, you know, and except losing it. I think that I was think, also I one think of the, the captain and I today proved that we're back. We are back. We, we had our nice little, like, hiatus. Well, wait, number one. We went one, to Riza. Well, number one. Yes, Captain. We never left. That's the That's key. correct. We, we just never had to put on. And it's only a matter of time before we get back to take on Patriots. Oh, they Patriots. better be nervous. They better be sweating. I mean, uh, uh, Snyder better lose the rest of his hair because he will he, lose the rest. He of his should hair. be scared. He should be scared. Come to the future track. where we have hair. Yeah. So, Jason, how are you feeling when you got that last question? I'll be honest with you. That was the only name that I knew was in both movies. So I just figured we had one more question. If I said it, it was either going to be right or wrong. I wasn't going to screw us completely over. Uh, so proud. Watch that tape back. I generally thought I got it wrong. No, like I, you, <laughs> I was so proud. I was so proud of you, number yeah. one. And I just thought, you know, when you mentioned uh, uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, I mean, I'm like, oh, my God, it's Sydney Party 8. It's, it's I'm like, oh my God! But you got it. You got but it. That's why. That's why we make such a good team. We fill in each other's strengths. We or risk, weaknesses. Risk is our business. That's what the starship is all about. That's why we're aboard her. Yep. We have our momentum. We're going warp speed now. So, so now you guys are going to advance in the tournament, and now you're going to face the winner of Deep Cuts or Team Action. Is there anyone you'd rather face out of those two? Well, they're both going to lose, whoever we take on. Yeah. So it doesn't no matter. Problem. I don't even yeah. like it. doesn't matter. Whoa. Wait, who's? What is this? I don't think is he can speak here? English. What is this? What is this? Hey guys, how what you doing? What, we're we're doing good. Hey, we just we just had a massive victory. So you guys better just stay, forget the shades. I have one question here. Yeah. Who the hell are you? I have another question. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Did you answer any questions in that other than the last one? Oh, okay. And then you're a nice mm. guy. Mm. But man, interesting. I've been waiting to kick your ass since the day I started in this schmodown. I got a right. date for you, buddy. Okay, Movie okay. release dates. <laughs> Movie release hey, dates, yeah. baby. Movie release dates. Listen, listen, you clean shaven babies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we all know we guy? all know Thad is gonna beat your ass on deep cuts, and nobody knows who Thad is. So just just walk out of here. I believe his name is Tab. All right, all right. You know, he's named after the sword really, of wait, wait, the '80s. If you really think, if you really think that you can take me on in any match, but especially movie release dates, you are out of your fucking mind. <laughs> I got a date for you, man. It's 2017, the day that a team action exploded your hopes in the tournament. Right, right. You're dead! Is that the day you were born? Because it looks like it. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> so should we have been to the final? Have you even And we lost! Final? We've been to the final and we lost. Spell final. Are you bragging about FINAL? I was in the middle of an interview. <laughs> hey, Jessica, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, Jessica, yeah. just one second. Here. Back to Jen here. Live fast, die young, where's the belts? Okay. Just return those suits to Kmart. <laughs> oh, Zara. Return the suits to Kmart. Well played, number one. Well played. Yep. All right, that got a little intense. Uh, are Jessica, you okay? Yeah. We're good. Are you? I'll recover. <laughs> let's uh let's go talk to Team Cinnablend. Oh, Team Cineblend. That was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. A little bit. That was a bit of a rough one for sure. We definitely, I mean, we had the passion. We definitely wanted it. It's just Team Track, they're too good, man. I felt it in my bones. I wanted that like no other. Really? Do you regret passing on the 90s? Not the decade, but like the category, you know, yeah, no, in the no, second I, round? I was, in, I was in that decade, but yeah. if I had taken that wheel, I think we could have gone all the way with it. Definitely. Uh, Oscars, not my strength. I've seen, I think, every single movie that was mentioned in that category. However, I do not know every single award that it's it when ran. You're so, into yeah. Gritty details. That's when it but starts you, to mess you up. Yeah, but you hung in there with round two, you know, close enough to keep round three very, very interesting and very close. Yeah. They had to hit their, their last one to beat you. But. How did you feel like going into that third round? Were you like losing a little bit of steam? Were you still pretty optimistic? Uh, I was still pretty confident. I mean, I know that we know our stuff, so I knew that all it took was a couple of good questions that we could answer, and uh, we nailed it. There's always hope until the game's over. Come on, it, exactly. It, like Rocky says, it ain't over till it's over. Precisely. It absolutely isn't. So that being said, are you guys gonna be coming back? Hell yes. Oh, come on. You couldn't stop us from you coming back. I mean, we, we, we lost by such narrow margins. Are you I'm coming back. back. Yeah, it's been I close. Come back. Yeah. It's been close both times. And yeah, and next time it'll be close on the other side. In fact, no, it won't. We're going to kick their oh, asses. Come on, don't, Damn don't be modest. We're going to run away with it next time. <laughs> We're going to do great stuff. It's going to be great. Awesome, guys. Well, we'd be glad to have you back. Guys, back to the booth. 
Well, no surprise. Look at team action showing up there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they don't even they don't even know if they're going to win next week. And very yet they're cocky. challenging uh, Trek here. Uh, that's very interesting. But you hear Trek obviously showing a lot of respect to Cinema Blend sure. and the fact that they got it. And, and and Jen said it as much in the interview how this was a great game for Scott Mance. A great yep. round one, yep. a tremendous round two. He hits his two pointer, and Inman came to play as well. And then obviously Cinema Blend, a little upset. They're not done. They want to come back and play, and they will once the tournament's over. We'll definitely see. Cinema Blend. That's a team that they could beat anyone. That's right. They Eric were down and Connor five points, and it's only getting their first taste of tournament play. That is a tough way to open up against Team Trek, but I think they adjudicated themselves very well. And for Team Trek, we've seen it before with them. They are a very momentum-based team. Once they can build on a win, true. they could go to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Well, they're one of they'll have to get through their next opponent. It's very true. They're one of the only teams to win three straight matches in a row. So whether or not they can do that yep. again, they have to yep. do it four times in order to play the Patriots. But there you go. One match already in the books. Team Trek advancing to the next round they're going to be looking forward to who they're playing as we get team action going up against deep cuts the winner will play team trek who do you got and besides that how about this right afterwards on tuesday wednesday thursday and friday all team tournament matches wow. coming your way it's very special here for the ultimate schmodown a lot of tournament matches coming mark ellis we got a bunch of stuff they should hear about maybe it's the movie trivia schmodown facebook group Go on over there. You want a breakdown of this very tournament, everything going on, check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Plus podcast channel or on iTunes. Aaron, Brian, and Frank breaking it down for you. Stats all over the place. Read the Schmodown blog. Go to Twitter. There's so much for all you guys to consume. Comment, like, do it all. Ultimate Schmodown's just starting. And, man, Josh McCougar's going to have a lot to say in the fantasy update. What's up, movie trivia showdown fans? Josh McCuga here with your fantasy update post. What's up? What the fuck is up? What's up, Cody? I don't know. Just trying something new. <laughs> Why? Got a second life. I want to try some new shit, Josh. So for after, after your trip to the Upside Down, you figured this is your new look? Yeah. I've been meaning to do this my entire life. You don't know how short life is. You kind of look like a don't fucking judge me. ice cube in uh, Straight Outta Compton. Maybe that's what I was going for. Um, so do you want do you want to do this with a little more energy, a little more panache than I do? No, no, I'm gonna let you do it. I'm just gonna judge you harshly as, okay. as you're doing. Oh, ready? Oh, here we go. Post Trek and Cinema Blend, a battle of the beasts, a battle of the badasses, a battle of the blends. Trek versus Team Cinema Blend. Listen, you may soon forget that Star Don't Trek Team it. Trek went up against the Patriots, the winners, the champions of the Team League, Super who Bowl seem winners. to luck out and win every year, just like the stupid New England Patriots. Hate those but. The Patriots did just barely beat Team Trek. They are a barely. team to look out for. If you have them in your fantasy league, they may be great work for trade bait. Maybe you could get two people or even three people in a trade for Maybe Team four. Trek because they Fuck will compete it. and they could win this Team Ultimate Schmodown. They could win it. They are oh, that good. And Cinema Blend, a lot of personality, seem like really good guys. They could be contenders in this league. If you are thinking maybe your team's not that good, what do you want to do with your team? Cinema Blend could be one of those teams you know may want to trade for team. or look for. I don't know what Cody is talking about. I'm not sure it I'm a matter fan of his look, about. but it seems like he's back. He's back from the upside down. Damn right. Maybe next time uh, he'll dress up like Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails or just Marilyn might. Manson. We shall see. I'm Josh McCuga. This is Alt Cody Hall. See you next time. On the Schmodown.